Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brendan again. Today is gonna to be the start of a new series called Stuff I Get Sent. And for those of you that are unaware, having a YouTube channel has many perks, one of which is getting a ton of stuff sent to you for free. Another perk is sometimes getting paid to talk about that stuff that you get sent for free. Now, if that's ever the case with my videos, I will let you know that it is a sponsored video. So if I don't say sponsor, that means that it is a not a paid plug or I'm not endorsing anything based off of a fat sum of money, mostly. But today's video is going to be a new series, like I said, only because over the course of the past couple of years, I get a lot of offers for free stuff that doesn't necessarily have to do with fitness or isn't really in line with what I'd normally talk about. And it's an interesting discussion only because I really started this channel five or six years ago to do supplement reviews in the hopes of getting free supplements, which I don't even actually show on my channel anymore. But that being said, I've had to say no to a lot of people just because I don't want my videos to become really paid product placements or just product placements in general. Although I will say that I am quick to tell you about the NASM and their two free week trial of their online services. If you want to become a certified personal trainer, why not the National Academy of Sports Medicine? Link in the description box below. So I thought that this series would be a good way for me to just show you some of the stuff I got sent and be completely upfront with you is this is stuff that people just want to send me to show in a video and this is the easiest way to do so rather than working in some nifty product placement. So that being said, the stuff we're going to talk about today as I cover up my address is from the Enlightened Company. And you guys might remember that I've done a video on some of their products in the past. An on-camera taste test. Y'all ready for this? And surprisingly enough, they reached out to me as I opened this box and said they want to send me some more stuff. So that's one of the things that I found really helpful about my reviews and being upfront and honest with people is even if you're not necessarily overly positive about certain products, they'll still reach out to you because they want you to give your honest opinion. And that's one of the things I've always tried to do. And this will be kind of interesting only because I only have a rough idea of what they sent me. So as you can hear, I'm playing with my box. I can't show you that on YouTube only because it might get me banned. But I have some stuff here. First of all is a note. We are so excited that you're interested in our new line of snacks. We hope you enjoy and we can't wait to hear your thoughts, the enlightened team. So one of the things that they have done in the past, and again, I showed this in my other video, was send me some coupons for some free ice cream bars. They don't really have a lot of these in my grocery store around me, so maybe I'll give these away to somebody else. No promises. Uh, but it looks like their new snack right here is the Lighten the Good For You Crisp. So we have some roasted beans and a bunch of different flavors it looks like. So here is a sea salt flavor. We have a garlic and onion. I'm sure the Beyonce will appreciate that. Uh, we have some sriracha sauce. Can't even speak right now. I'm starting to just get all messed up. We have some wasabi. And I don't even know if this is focusing and I don't really care. And then we have some mesquite barbecue. So quite a few flavors. All of these look like they roughly have 100 calories, seven grams of protein, three grams of fiber, a couple grams of fat. Let's see if I can show you some of this on here. And what I'm going to do is just open some of these up and try them. They also sent me the bigger bags as well. So really appreciate it. Uh, I don't know what kind of beans they are. Broad beans are defined as fava beans, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, sunflower oil, I don't really care about the ingredients. I'm just gonna go with the mesquite barbecue, let you know how these taste, if I can open them, which I can. So a live taste test. First of all, the smell, which is obviously very important, especially you gotta get that sound. You guys can't see the microphone right here, but you're gonna get. It smells pretty good. Let's do a taste test. Here's how they look. Let me get my dome out of there so it'll focus. Hmm. Tastes like a dried bean wood with a little bit of flavor of barbecue. So, for these, the overall taste of what I can associate them with is if you've ever had like wasabi peas, so the dry peas that you can buy has a very similar taste to that. The barbecue on that isn't very strong, uh, but that's not to say it's not all right. I'll try one more. Let's go for the hot ones in here. See how these go. Smell test is on point, obviously. A lot of the stuff that I do is very scientific. I 
All right, so you get a little bit of heat with this. So, so far on both of these flavors, one of the things that I'll tell you is it doesn't seem like the power of the flavor is too overpowering. The power of the flavor is too overpowering. Strong English skills, I know. Uh, but that's not to say they're not bad. So these are okay. So for this, there's actually a good amount of actual beans in here for 100 calories. I think what would probably be the deciding factor on this, or maybe even the larger pouches, obviously for me with price, because no matter how good something tastes or how good the macros might be, if the pricing isn't on point, it's not something I'd go with. So what I'll probably try to do is just briefly look this up online and flash the thing on the screen and just let you know, regardless of what the price says, put it in this area. In my opinion, it's really subjective if it's worth the price to you. To me, if it's too expensive, I wouldn't go for it. If it's within range and I saw it, then maybe I'd pick it up for some snacks. I'm sure the Beyonce will actually like these a lot, probably throw some of these in for lunch when she takes it to work. But that's it, so this is stuff I get sent. This is the enlightened, good for you crisps. And that's all I got to say about that. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.